Good morning. So we're not going to Typhoon Lagoon. Sarah wasn't feeling too well. So we decided to not like overexert ourselves, especially if we want to go out later. So I'm having some coffee. I'm actually gonna try, I've never, I love bread and I've actually never tried to make it, but I'm trying to make a cinnamon, cinnamon sugar loaf of bread. So that's what I'm doing now. Got everything going on here. And uh, I think it's that time of the year. Call me crazy. I know a lot of you will, but I got my Christmas Pandora station on, on my phone. Some of my other Christmas supporters will be like, do you? I could do Christmas all year long and it would not even be an issue. So that's why I got going on. Sarah's resting. Don't know which one of us I did I did the vlog. We'll see, but I'm gonna get this. The cinnamon cinnamon sugar loaf of bread seems pretty easy. It's just like your basic items with a bunch of cinnamon and sugar in it. So it should be tasty. And the puppy has been wild all morning. She actually like we were playing and she nipped at my thumb and almost got my cut from the dishes the other day. And I was so scared that she was about to eat part of my thumb, but she's good. All right, so Sarah's still resting. It's, we're having a slow start to our Sunday. Sarah's still resting. This bread is finally out and cooled, so I'm gonna cut it and taste it and see. I'm editing the vlog. Uh, I'm really excited about it. It was a really fun day and I'm trying to edit it in a cool way, but we're gonna put a link down below. Freddie, our friend Freddie, who wrote that awesome article about us, came out with the second piece to it, which is about eight tips on what you should think about or, or or n know about when it comes to moving to Florida. But I gotta cut this bread, but look at this. Look at that. Look at that. I gotta get a plate. Okay, I must say, I think I'm impressed with myself. I don't do much baking. But this is my first attempt, cinnamon sugar bread loaf. Look at that. Looks good, tastes good. There's a little swirl in there. I didn't get too fancy with that, but it looks good. I'm gonna wake up Sarah and see, see if she's ready to eat some. I mean, we're catching the end of it, but we haven't seen this parade in months, I feel. And we get to see Mickey and Minnie right now. Sarah's having issues with the wind and her dress today. But look, I wore my, my awesome Mickey Hawaiian shirt that I don't wear often. I will usually only wear it for special occasions, and today is. Oh my gosh, we're going to Ohio tomorrow. I should have worn it tomorrow. <laughs> Well, again, maybe. maybe. Ben wears shirts like these, and on he's vacation. got on vacation. So he's got like four, I think, Mickey ones like this. Today, I think he's wearing his Tommy Bahama one he just got. So I wore this for Ben. I hope he, he notices. Yeah, to be matchy matchy. Same, same, but different. This is new, right? Katie, this is the new thing? Yeah, this is brand new. So we're with our friend Katie. She's the one that we stalk at Hideaway. Say hi. hi She's the best. She was like, I have to get this for research purposes. Oh no. It's this fine. is the orange citrus twist float, not the actual Dole Whip. Cream float. Cream float, I'm sorry. Let's see. Oh. Is it good? I'll to a oh man. We might have to get one one it's day. It's really, really good. Grab a spoon. Here. Take a bite. And the carousel of progress has had more performances than any other stage show in the history of American theater. <laughs> Don't worry, Dad. Someday, everything's going to be so automated, you won't ever have to cook another Christmas turkey again. <laughs> I don't know if they changed the rules, but that's the second time in like two weeks we went on Carousel Progress and they didn't say that no filming is allowed. But Katie is gonna be my new best friend even more now because she loves Carousel Progress and not many people do. Did you know that the cat was in there? No, I never saw that cat. There's before. a cat. What scene was it? That was the third? The first one. The second the one? First. Oh, second? The first. Second scene in the first one? Yeah. 
the first second room. Rotation like the, of the first what? That's what she whatever she said is right. Yeah. Yeah, Papa. I'm There's indecent. a big cat next to the woman who's the the daughter who's like, I'm indecent. There's a cat. And its tail is wagging, or whatever your cat's tail does. But, so I would have noticed that. Yeah. Let us know if you think that like is that old if you were there like 20 years ago and remember seeing that cat, let us know. Cause that, it's greatly disturbed me. Cause I thought I was like a big, I took a lot of pride in being like, I love Carousel Progress. I don't even know Fake it. fan. Fake fan. The one looks Alrighty, friend. So we got the chili cheese fries. Chili. Katie got, Katie got regular fries. Mm -hmm. So looking good. Ooh, look at the sauces. Oh, I didn't even realize. <laughs> she is what? after. She's a girl. Knows how we eat. Put all these <laughs> these sauces and napkins. Napkins. Are called. Make it rain. Make it rain. <laughs> how much beers? Three. Yes. Six. Six after tax or something, right? Yeah. Mine were three fifty nine. Three fifty nine. Can't button. beat it. It's a bargain. So it's been a little bit, but we've just been hanging out. We got some food, as you saw. Um, we've been out chatting. It's getting dark out. I don't know if our friends, they might go see Illumination, but we still got Katie with us. We're going to do people over, and we're just chit chat. It's like we, it's the hardest time to actually get to hang out with Katie outside of Kroger. Fun makes me fun. And it can be done, even in this one. Sorry, my phone died. We're home. Um, we didn't meet up with our friends who were visiting the other day, but they were at Epcot. We tried getting there before Illuminations, but we couldn't. And then they they have a friend, and it was late. They have early fast pass to fly to passage, so we're actually just gonna hang out at home. I know it's late on Sunday, but it's not like a typical Sunday because I don't have like a full day of work tomorrow because of how many hours I put on the Friday. Plus, I don't think we've said what we're doing tomorrow. But I'll say it, we got invited, which is crazy, to a press preview of a new escape room at the Escape Effect on International Drive. So we're going to that tomorrow at noon. Well, when you're watching this, I don't know what time we're gonna get this video up, but we've never done an escape room, so we're super nervous. I'm super excited, Sarah's nervous. But Sarah's making some couscous, and I have my favorite movie of all time that's not like a cartoon. It's about time. If you haven't seen it, Download it, rent it, find it on YouTube, watch it. It is a great movie. I love the whole outlook on life. It's similar to what we do. It's like live every day. He has the power to go in the past. So he can literally relive every day with knowing all the mistakes that he makes and everything and all the little nuances and cherished little moments. But by the end of the movie, he lives every day like it's his last ordinary, he calls it his last extraordinary day. Because he just lives like it's his last, like his only time. So he just enjoys everything to the fullest. That's what we do, that's what you should do, and it doesn't matter where you are. They live in the UK and they're doing it. We live in Kissimmee, Florida and we're doing it. Check it out, and it's also for your Bucket List Family fans, it's on, It's I think it's Gary G's top, it's his top favorite, top one favorite or in his top five. But he loves About Time, and I've never met anybody else who's even watched About Time. And our friend Allison Quinn tweeted us saying to do the March for Madness, like, bracket. March for, for Madness, you know we don't watch sports. <laughs> <laughs> the March, the March you did like March for Our Lives. No, I did March for Meg. It's a run, it's a melanoma run in, in our hometown. Um, I can't do it. I think I quit already. You think you quit already? I can't choose. Lion King and Tarzan, that's the first one. Having trouble doing the very first one. Is expecting me to choose. Hey, let me see if I can get this to work out. I, yeah, I can't. There's mine. Anything. If you didn't see it on Twitter or Instagram, there's mine. Hercules is my winner. It was difficult. When it got down to the, I was like, this is kind of easy. And it got down to the last four Moana versus Hercules and Brave versus Nemo. What did you do Herc. for Big Hero 6 or Frozen? It's not Big Hero 6 or Frozen, is it? Oh, it's Tangled or Big Hero 6. Yeah, Tangled or Big Hero 6. 
pray for her. That it ends I quickly can't and choose. easily. I can't choose. I know the stress. The stress. All right. We're gonna sign off now and then upload the videos because I already said in the vlog. Yeah. You saw? Yeah. Sarah actually added the vlog already. I already added the vlog. Add this sign off to it and then schedule oh. it to post tomorrow. But Sarah did the March Madness it was Disney. It's too hard. Hercules one for Sarah as well. Go figure. But that was interesting. Mine was Nemo against Hercules. Sarah's was Brave against Hercules. Either way, Hercules is like our movie. We don't we we never told that story, but it was like a movie that we shared in high school, like right yeah. before we started dating or right before. It was right we before dating? we started dating. Because it was always my favorite. Like I went through a period of time where I like watched it every night. It was like her showing me Disney movies in yeah. her eyes. And that was like that's the movie I can say all the words to, so you borrowed our DVD, like my family's DVD. I think that's still the one we have. Um, Confessions. Confessions. So yeah, Trump's mine was like my last two were Princess and the Frog versus Hercules, and then Brave versus Wally. Um, that was my final four. Who were your final four? I remember. I showed on the video though. Okay. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.